first, let's start out by talking about what is not consultative selling, and this is what I refer to as product selling. And this is what I actually believe that m the majority of salespeople do, and that is basically they go a salesperson will go out and talk about the product that they sell and the company they work for as much as they can, and they will try to do that with as many people as they can. Every chance they get, they try to talk to someone about uh, the company they work for and the, the product they sell. And their real goal of every communication is to try to build and validate interest in buying the product they sell. Um, if I go back to that example of the a web design company sending an email asking, we do web des design services, do you need web design services? They're basically saying what they sell, trying to build interest in what they sell, and validate that I need or want what they sell. And this is what I would consider product selling. By the way, you may look at that and think, well, that's, that's a logical approach. I have a product to sell, so I need to talk about my product as much as I can to as many people as I can. And that does make sense. And you can sell with that approach. But the problem comes in when you factor in some of the core concepts that I mentioned in the previous chapter and that is that prospects get sold to a lot so if your prospects are getting sold to a lot and contacted a lot by different salespeople and then you reach out to them with your product selling approach and message then you increase the odds of facing resistance or turning them off in addition if you agree that it would be more optimum to minimize how much you sound like a salesperson trying to sell something then you will that will be more difficult if you use a product selling approach if you agree that it makes more sense to focus more on the prospect and their interests and less on you then a product selling approach does not really comply with that because a product selling approach is all about you this is what I, this is who I work for this is what I sell and if you agree that when you're doing cold prospecting that the prospects that you reach out to and talk to are most likely not in buying mode at that particular moment then it might be not optimum for you to always be trying to push and sell the product that you sell so when you factor those in then you can see that product selling can lead to some sales at some point but there's a lot of mismatch and it creates a lot of conflict and a less than a lot of less than optimum situation but the reality is is that Product selling, if you currently do product selling or that's what you've done in the past or that's what you'd like to do, don't feel bad because it's actually completely understandable for the majority of salespeople to do product selling. And the reason why is because it aligns with your natural instincts. You, you get hired by a company, you're told to sell a product, you get paid when you sell that product. It only makes sense for you to go out and just talk about your product as much as you can. It's also how most companies train their salespeople in that whether you were talking about new hires or periodic training, companies will often train their salespeople on the, these are the products you'll be selling, this is how they work, this is how they're priced, this is how you submit an order, here's your territory, now go out and sell, or periodically these are the new product updates, go generate leads for these new products. This is how companies really train their salespeople, so it's understandable. And also, in some ways, it's easier to be a product selling salesperson than a consultative salesperson. Well, I'll explain that and show that more later when I compare this with consultative selling. But if you need your, to build your sales message and you are doing product selling, then your sales message is basically talk about your product. So all you have to have is really a somewhat decent level of knowledge about the product you sell and then you know what to say. Uh, the 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 thing that I'll bring back to that later is that while that is e it's easier in the short term to figure out what to say it's harder in the long term because you're gonna face more resistance and more reluctance 